Everybody, Shabbat Shalom. I think we all know that uh, standing at Mount Sinai was a defining moment in our history. And we commemorate that incredible moment in this week's parasha to our portion, Yitro. At Mount Sinai, the entire community stood as one. And our tradition teaches that we were there too, all of us, men, women, children, the elderly, the rich, the poor, and even those with disabilities. This moment reminds us that we strive to be in God's presence always, just like at Mount Sinai. Part of doing this is creating a just society that recognizes the essential worth of every human being. February is Jewish Disabilities Advocacy Month, a month-long reminder for us to live our values. I recently heard an interview with world-renowned violinist Yitzhak Perlman. Perlman had polio as a child and has always needed help to stand and to walk. He spoke lovingly of his parents, Holocaust survivors from Poland, who believed in him and pushed him to excellence. Perlman emphasized that a diagnosis is life-changing, but not life-ending. And those with disabilities need support. He reminded us not to focus on the disability, but rather on what each person has to offer. Perlman also noted that 2020 marked the 30-year anniversary of the Americans with Disability Act, a civil rights law that prohibits discrimination against those with a disability. Nevertheless, he noted that there's still so much that is inaccessible, stores and bathrooms, the list goes on. We still have work to do. I wanna highlight three of many worthy programs that elevate those with disabilities. One is local right here in our area and two are in Israel. First, the Friendship Circle of Central Jersey was founded with the goal of promoting a greater awareness and understanding of both the unique needs and unique gifts of people with special needs and encourages respect and empathy for those facing challenges. Many of our B'nai Mitzvah here at MJC volunteer with the Friendship Circle and they all love it, every one of them. A second organization, the Jewish National Fund or JNF, supports a program called Special in Uniform to give youth with disabilities the opportunity to integrate into the Israel Defense Forces. The program was founded to give everyone a right to fulfill their potential and to be accepted into society. Special in Uniform goes beyond the walls of the IDF, helping its graduates to integrate into the workforce and into Israeli society. And finally, Masorti, or the conservative movement of Judaism in Israel, has a B'nai Mitzvah program for children with disabilities, who sadly are often marginalized in Israel. Founded in 1995, the program has touched the lives of close to 3,500 young people and their families, and it is the only one of its kind in the Jewish state. By using a specially created siddur, with both Hebrew and sign language symbols, integrated with intuitive technology, the Masorti movement fills a crucial and unmet need. On behalf of our synagogue, I made donations to all three of these organizations in honor of uh, Jewish Disabilities Advocacy Month. One of the heroes of our tradition, uh, Moshe Rabbeinu, Moses, you may or may not know, perhaps the greatest leader of all time, he too had a disability. He had a speech impediment. And when he reminded God of this, and he said he couldn't be the one to lead the people out of Egypt, he couldn't be the one to challenge Pharaoh, God retorted, somewhat sternly but lovingly. God said, who gives a man speech? Who makes him dumb or deaf or seeing or blind? Is it not I, the Lord? Now go and I will be with you when you speak. Whether in others or in ourselves, sometimes we tend to focus on what we think ourselves and others cannot do. But God sees the divine potential in every human being and inspires us to become the best versions of ourselves. So I pray for all of us tonight, may we follow God's example when we look in the mirror and when we look at another human being. 
Thank you. Shabbat shalom.